Galileo couldn't work out the area underneath the cycloid. So in this video, I'm going to make you smarter than Galileo. So remember, a cycloid is the path traced out by, by a rotating circle. So uh, as, as it turns out, the, um, the area underneath the cycloid is three times the area of a circle. Remember, this circle has radius of capital R. And we've also seen that the parametric equations for the cycloid is given by this. So to, to, integrate on, to integrate a normal function, let's say you've got a function here, f of x, to, to work out the area underneath f of x, we would need to sum up all the heights. We would need to sum up all the heights. We would need to sum up all the heights. Well, the height, this height here, is given by the function itself. And then we would need to, well, the thickness here, we would need to, in a way, multiply it by the thickness. The thickness here is dx. Well, in parametric form, it works in, in pretty much the same way. Let's say you've got a curve here. Um, if, you want to work some, if you want to work out this area, you need to sum up all the heights. Well, all, well the height is given by, by this thing here. So you would need to sum up all the heights, which would be this thing here. And then, and then, well, at the moment, the thickness, at the moment, the thickness here is dx. Um, at the moment, the thickness is dx, just like over here. But we, we can replace dx with, with this thing here. So from here, we can differentiate both sides. So dx equals r minus r cos, uh, cos t uh, dt. So we, we can replace this dx, dx here. We can replace this dx here with this whole thing here. And we've seen why this works in the past. So if you don't understand this bit, then track back to one of the early videos. But, uh, but the, the idea is pretty much the same. You replace this dx with, with, um, with this thing here. So, so you turn everything into dt. So let's start again here. Uh, to work out the area, we need to integrate it from 0 to 2 pi capital R. Because, hang on, we need to integrate it from 0 all the way to here. Well, this distance here is this, the uh, circumference of the circle. So the area is given by us integrating from 0 to 2 pi r. We, each step of the way, we need to know the height. Well, the height is given by this. But at the moment, we, we need to replace the thickness, dx here. Well, the thickness is given by this thing here, which we've seen earlier, because, because that dx there, that this dx here, well, differentiate it, dx equals uh, capital R minus R cos T, D, T. And then we can put this whole thing here into that dx. We can put the whole thing here into dx. That would then give us, that would then give us this thing here. But remember, this is, um, uh, in, in the dx world, we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi capital R. But, but now we've changed everything into the dt world. So in the dt world, we will need to work out our bounds from where to where. So hang on. So in the dx world, we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi capital R. But then we, we made, we, we, well, x is given by this thing here. So, um, so hang on. If, remember, in the dx world, we are integrating from 0 to 2 pi R. We will need to work out the same thing, but in the, in the, uh, in the dt world. So hang on. So let's put this into here. Um, so 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 integrating from zero. Um, well, t would be t would be uh, zero. And then to work out the upper bound, we would put this into into here. So that would be that would be two pi capital R equals. Let me just factorize factorize that out the uh, capital R. So that would then give us this thing here. Um, and then the two capital R's will cancel each other out. So really, t, if you think about it, is um, it's really 2 pi here. 2 pi. When you put 2 pi into the t here, the, uh, the, the, it will disappear because sine of 2 pi is 0. So, um, so, so really, in the dt world, you're integrating from 0 to, uh, to 2 pi. Okay, so, so in the dx world, you, you are integrating from 0 to 2 pi capital R. But, but then we, we said x equals this thing here. So, so in the dt world, you are integrating from 0 to 2 pi. So this thing here will be 0 to 2 pi. That will then take us to here. That will then take us to here. So now, um, 
now it's just a matter of integrating this with respect to uh, to t. So so looking at this, factor out factorize out the capital R. That will then give us this thing here. Now looking at this, factorize out the capital R. That will then give us this thing here. So what I'm saying is that this thing here is this block here, and then this block here is this block here. So now r times r, that, and remember r is a constant, it's just a radius of the circle, so you can actually take r squared out here. That will then give you this thing here. So now it's just a matter of us integrating this. So multiply this out, hang on. So one times one will be one. Uh, this times this, this times this, will give you two cos t, and then uh, cos t times cos t, that will be cos uh, t squared. And then now it's just a matter of integrating the whole thing. Um, integrate this will give you t. Integrate this will give you this. And then integrate this in one go. That will then give you this thing here. So now if you put this into here, put this into here, put it into here, and so on. Now, well, if you put it into here, it will give you um, 2 pi. Put this into here, uh, sine of 2 pi will be 0. So this thing here will disappear. Put it into here, that would then, well, 2 pi over 2, that would just be this pi here. Put this into here, the whole thing disappears. Put 0 into here, disappears. Put 0 into here, disappears. Put 0 into here, disappears, and so on. So this whole thing here will then just become 3 pi. So 3 pi times uh, r um, times r squared equals this thing here, which is 3 times the circle, pi r squared. So what I'm saying here is that the area underneath the cycloid is, is three times the area of a circle. So the area, so the area underneath the cycloid is three times the area of the circle. Okay?